We are really encouraged by your presence and the support extended to us. Let me take this opportunity and welcome Ma'am uh, Patricia Edio, uh, Sir Neshisha Edio, then uh, Sir Sapo Edio to this uh, Teachers Award Ceremony. I would like to take this opportunity and welcome representatives from, uh, from ANAPSA and ASDA to this uh, district level teachers I am studying in class 6 from JMS as a Chinese secretary area. Here is an order written in a sonnet form. This is dedicated to all the teachers. All the teachers. Teachers, you are a guiding light who makes the journey of life bright. The lessons you taught help us win battles in life. The books, the scoldings made us fight. Yet, at the end of the day, your smile lightens everything. You are a precious gift. You are a role model who inspires life to dream, to work, and to grow. Your kindness helped me fulfill my potential. What I am today is because of you. I am thankful for all the teachers in my life. I admire you all the more each day. Thank you. Well, it is not an easy journey, yet it is achievable. And I'm so happy for all of you. A teacher's job is not as easy as we think of. It is a continuous process as the way we assess our children continuously. Our work is not bounded in the four walls, not only in the four walls of the school, but we take it all, we take it everywhere along with us. So as a teacher, we need to go an extra mile. We need to be sincere, dedicated in our words. We should be consistent, adaptive, and one should believe in oneself. It is very important for us to keep abreast with the latest knowledge and technology. Many a time I've come across that our teachers' community we tend to stay away from the from updating our knowledge, which is very crucial for our professional development. Training programs are the banks of knowledge and skills for our skills. So through these programs, we sharpen our knowledge and empowers our skills. Besides some of our accomplishments, such as the Navalin Marine Festival, serving for the past 25 years and for the last 10 consecutive years, Memorial Garden High Secondary School, serving as a teacher for the past 17 years, his education and teaching for 10 years, she demonstrated high ideals. Very good morning and uh, adults. Teachers Day wishes to all of you. So, from the word Teachers Day, my parents were also teachers, school teachers. They were also teaching in where we call upper primary schools in Kerala. So, they were uh, Urdu subject teachers in both schools. And they are retired now. My father retired in 2017 and mother retired in 2018. So, I see closely how teachers and most of the teachers, like uh, in the middle class families, they raise the children and at the same time carry on with their own families and carry on the responsibility for the schools and the students and how difficult it is. As someone rightly mentioned, uh, we feel it's very easy to do a job of a teacher but if you try teaching one or two students for one hour then we will get to know what patience means. Sometimes we feel very uh, angry and we feel frustrated that we should money to but it's very very difficult and I am very lucky that I got a tenure of 3 years also with the school education department and when I was joining the department many people told me that whether you actually want to do it, it's a very messy department, that is, that is the right word to be used. It was a very messy department with huge number of employees and you will have a lot of headache. Yes, I had a lot of headache but I that is one of the uh, postings I cherish the most in my tenure of the last 11 years in Nagaland. Uh, yes, school education and especially the education in the lower classes has its own challenges in Nagaland. It may be very easy in, in many, many other states where the systems are right in place. And in many developed countries, you know, why the developed country is a developed country? Because 
they are able to provide the social services like education and health free of cost to their citizens in many developed countries we go outside so that is the actual first criteria when you look at a country whether that country is able to do that if the country is able to do that we can call the country is a developed country even if we say we have right to education and uh, we say that uh, it's a free and compulsory education from age 6 to 14 to our students but we have double thoughts whether we will be having that quality kind of education we are able to provide to our students many a time no and that is not a mistake of the teachers or anyone but it's a collective mistake that over a period of time many other countries they look forward to uh, digital education virtual reality and what not but still sometimes we are struggling to have good classrooms good bench good desk uh, good access good roof in our in our schools and that is very sad actually because we are lagging behind a lot and we will get to know when we travel outside the state thank my principal vice principal my colleagues uh, staff <coughs> students of game going at high secondary school uh, through them for the support of the team also the dio office also i'm really honored and humbled to to be uh, presented with this uh, district level teachers award and it is said that uh, teaching is a um, noble profession it's true but in my 17 years of teaching experience i would like to add more to that the teaching is also challenging sometimes it's frustrating but it's a very satisfying profession i believe that it is every teacher's responsibility that to not only teach the syllabus but also to guide them in their life skill so they become a very good person in spite of all the challenges it is very satisfying to see the results which sometimes surprise us often